Oxen production. High school biology introduces all sorts of scientific terms. In C4 plants, the stoma is closed during the day. But before you're impressed with the biologies of 16-year-old Josh Wolf, Crouching acid metabolism. Check out the terminology Josh's classmates use. Intelligent. Ambitious. Creative. To describe Josh. I would say brilliance. Brilliance? Come on, students. This is science. We need proof. So what I'm doing right now is I'm collecting all the waste oil that's in these fryers right over here. This is really hot. Surprisingly, student competition has not been terribly fierce. No. The Elk River lunch ladies, Grease. And she was a little weirded out by it, you know. Kid, wait, wait, what's that? You, you want oil? You want the, the waste oil? But how else was Josh going to fill those 20 jugs in the back of the science classroom? In here. Oh yeah, and that dumpster behind the school. At one point was about 600 to 700 gallons of oil. Using household chemicals, Josh has been converting that used cooking oil to diesel fuel. Here is the diesel that can actually be used straight into an engine. That's Josh's friend. And this is his friend's dad's diesel pickup. It has a little bit smaller of a carbon chain than regular diesel does. Okay. You might say a prayer too. <laughs> With a 16 year old's homemade fuel in your tank. His friend never worried. Josh is smart. He's also just warming up. Josh already has an agreement to collect the used oil from his first local restaurant, and now is in talks with Elk River's school bus company about selling them his fuel. But that's just to raise some capital. This is just startup. For something bigger. Right. Dare we ask what's in that portable garage Josh got for Christmas that now sits behind his house. So this is where I am growing my algae right now. So what's in here? Algae. We won't reveal all his scientific secrets, but by running algae through parts he salvaged from an old toy rocket launcher. And it shocks the algae. Josh has been pulling ridiculous amounts of oil from the algae in that garbage can. At least one of these a day. Now, just imagine if he had hundreds of acres of algae. Josh already is. And then you've got tankers leaving yeah. on the other end, right? Yep. Oil tankers. We met with some people from the industry and they said you need a provisional patent and you need one yesterday. So Josh is now the only kid at the science fair with a patent attorney. And he's yet to take high school chemistry. The University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. His robotics coach showed us the website for the international algae competition in which Josh was recently named one of seven finalists worldwide. Antenna Technologies in Geneva. His competitors were universities and companies with impressive facilities. Myanmar Pharmaceutical Factory. Josh submitted a picture of the 700 gallon algae tank he built in his street. Welcome to our world. <laughs> Josh's parents suspected they might be in for a ride when their three-year-old started quizzing them on square roots. How do you handle a kid who casually informs you one day he's figured out a way to turn plastic shopping bags into a substitute for gasoline. This was just a little project that I did in March. We just try not to get in the way, yeah. mostly. Oh, and one more thing. Give to me the life I love. This summer, Josh will collect on a scholarship he just won for six weeks of music study in Boston. Come fall, he'll be a high school junior. Should be quite an encore. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, Elk River.